When you lose your phone, what do you do? Lodge a complaint with the police. And then uh, you have to go to the internet service provider and get your phone blocked. Now, the first thing that uh, you will be asked when you file your complaint, your IMEI number. Now, what's this IMEI number? IMEI number is an international mobile equipment ID number. Uh, this is not only for mobiles. This is for every device which is on the internet. So if you just um, type star hash zero six and then hash. There you get your IMEI number. Now there is another way of getting the IMEI number. If you go on, of course, if you go on settings. And just go on the about phone. And there you'll find the number for 15 digits. What this does is, this is going to, you know, uh, identify the device with the model number, the country of origin and stuff like that, which will help, you know, for the identification of your lost device. But first things first, what if you've just, you know, lost or forgotten your device somewhere in the house or somewhere in the market close by or in a shop, in your office, at your place of work, when you went down and you just uh, can't seem to find it. It's somewhere around, but um, you can't seem to remember. So what do we do? Of course, we try to track our mobile and we try to track it as efficiently as possible. Welcome to episode 12, Mobile Tracker. Now let's say we've lost our phone so uh, you can just open your laptop or take anybody else's phone and move on to Google so I'll just show you on my laptop you must be signed in with the same Google account with which your phone is registered it will show all the it will show the Google dashboard will show the device click on find your device so within the map it's contacting the device. Okay. And even if your phone is set on silent, uh, I had set it on silent and when I'll click on play sound, it will start ringing. So this is of course if it is in the vicinity and you can hear the sound. So this is the fastest way of finding it. Um, what if it is not somewhere where you can listen to it? So you can still try to find your device. Click on secure device. You can type in a recovery message. And then you give the recovery number where you'd like them to call you up. So you click on secure device. The person who gets this phone will be seeing this message. Now, in case, uh, you know, none of this is working, if uh, nobody, you, you know, if the person is not reliable and you feel that the phone is not traceable, of course, uh, one can register a complaint. You should register a complaint to the police and, they are, and then go to the ISP and have your number blocked immediately. But uh, uh, if you feel that you're ready to give up the phone, but, uh, you know, the data is extremely precious, so what you could do is just yourself go on delete work profile. So once you delete this work profile, all the data and everything from the phone will be deleted. Uh, but of course, then you can't trace the phone yourself. So this is how the Google dashboard plays such a key role in helping us locate a mobile phone that is lost or maybe stolen. In next week's episode, Let's look at how our Android phone can help us revisit our location history and remember every place we visited in the past, even if we had not used the Google map to visit those places. See you soon.